Hello everyone, Ryan Ponce here with Compass, and today I'm gonna to talk about downtown San Diego, and more specifically, what it's like being a buyer in downtown. So right now, there's only 46 listings in downtown San Diego. That's That might sound like a decent amount, but to put that into perspective, on average over the last five years, um, at any given time, there are probably about 250 to 350 options to choose from. Right now there's 46. On top of that, demand is really high. So all the new listings that are coming up, they're going fairly quickly. So what does that mean as a buyer? Well, first off, um, since there's so much competition and there's not much to choose from, you're likely going to be competing with other offers. Um, so when you find that right property, you're likely going to be going up against other buyers and you need to make your offer more competitive. Um, the next thing is, it is really, really important right now to work with an agent that understands downtown San Diego, that knows it really well. And why is that important? Well, with the limited amount of inventory, there's just not a whole lot to choose from. So within your search criteria, you might only have two to three options. Um, if you work with an agent that knows downtown San Diego, knows it really well, they could find the floor plans that will be the best fit and they can point those out. They don't necessarily need to be on the market yet. And then from there, when they have a good understanding of what you're looking for, they can target owners of those types of properties and see if they can find stuff off market. Um, they, we also do a lot of networking with other agents to see what they have coming available so that we are able to find off market opportunities for our clients. Um, right now, a lot of people don't want to sell stuff off market, so sometimes people will be open to it because they don't want to prepare their home. But sometimes, um, you know, it is in the seller's best interest to test the market, take it to the market, see what they can get. But at least you'll have an opportunity to have a jump on it and um, and maybe act before some, you know before too many people um, show interest. So. Um, that is one of the biggest tips that I have in this video. Um, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is how to make your offer more competitive. Well, to make your offer more competitive, you need to work with an agent that understands how to build rapport with the listing agent and really find out what the seller's goals are. And what that means is like, maybe the seller needs extra time. Maybe they need to sell and they need the proceeds from the sale and uh, in order to buy their next home. Well, giving them the opportunity to stay in the property um, either for free for a short period of time or maybe at your carrying cost may set you apart from other offers. So it may give the seller the stability and the time that they're looking for, which saves them a lot of stress and it's worth money. Like, you know, it, it may set you apart from, from the other offers. Um, the three other items, um, well, that, that's actually item number three, but the two other items are to make your terms more competitive shortening timeframes and maybe um, you know doing stuff with appraisals paying over appraised value i cover that in my blog down below but everyone's situation is different every buyer's situation is different so really we like to sit down meet with our clients understand what they're looking for find the best opportunities for them but then on top of that we also like to discuss ways that they can be more competitive um, without giving too much up with uh, with regards to like taking on too much risk. So um, if you'd like to schedule a consultation with us, we could sit down, go over your options, and really find out the best path for you as a buyer in downtown San Diego's current market. Uh, again, my name is Ryan Ponce uh, with with Compass, and uh, feel free to reach out to me. And I'm, my number is six one nine two two eight six seven nine zero. And my email address is ryan.ponce at compass.com. It's in the blog below. Um, go ahead and read and, and let me know if you have any questions. All right, thank you.